Why, hello, fellow Patriots. Welcome to episode six on the Patriot Dad channel, where we can discuss current events and modern issues all while keeping it as real as possible. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the sense of community and where it seems to have gone. There are a couple of key factors that seem to be contributing to the feeling that traditional communities are kind of going away and being destroyed. Now you might be wondering, why does it seem like we're drifting apart as a nation? Well, I've done a little bit of light research, and let me tell you, the evidence isn't hard to spot. Let's go over a few key factors here on what might be causing this light destruction. First off, we have a little thing called the echo chamber. The echo chamber effect, as described by the University of Texas at Austin, uh, is a lot of times caused by social media. You have social media sites foster confirmation bias because of their basic function. Regardless of the specific algorithm, social media sites like Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, or even YouTube serve the same basic function to connect groups of like-minded users together based on shared content preferences. This is fed off of confirmation bias, which describes the way people perceive taken information by filtering it pre-existing beliefs and opinions. So every time we get on social media, we are bombarded algorithmically with things that we agree with. And a lot of times we're kept away from things we disagree with. That is a function of social media. They want your attention and you will be more comfortable if you are surrounded by the familiar and the comfortable. These echo chambers, we don't hear other opinions anymore. Where we used to go out in public and have discussions and debates with people and hear other viewpoints. Now, you watch the news channel that you pick and all you hear about is your side. You, you know, read social media and fed only things you agree with. It's no wonder that we continually are solidified in our beliefs. There's also the rise of identity politics. Instead of focusing on what brings us together as Americans, we're focusing and increasingly defining ourselves by the differences that we have. And this brings up something that is as old as time almost. One of the oldest ways of conquering people is to divide them. So when you look, so many in the elite already have a lot of stuff. They don't want to share that stuff. So there are many that believe that what they share in common is a divide and conquer strategy. Encourage the general populace to live in conflict with one another to stop them from uniting against those currently in power. If you were somebody in power, wouldn't you want to stay in power? Well, I hate to break it to you, but the people that are currently in power here also want to stay in power. So how can they do that? They keep us distracted. I had an episode, if you want to look at it here, on how the media is the modern version of the Coliseum. They keep you distracted so that you don't see what's really going on and you're not upset at the people that are causing the problems. Instead, you just stay mad at each other. Say so another contributing factor is the 24 hour news cycle. With cable news network, online media outlets constantly vying for our attention, sensationalization and conflict sells. We are bombarded with divisive rhetoric and crazy stories with ridiculous headlines that reinforce our differences rather than emphasizing the common good. And it also takes a mental toll on us. Frequent exposure to troubling news can wear you down mentally. Before the advent of the 24-hour news cycle, the average person would typically read the paper in the morning or watch the evening broadcast for their daily fill of national or global news. But now it comes at us from all angles, comes at us all day, it comes at us from our cell phones, the television, and the internet, social media, and so many other avenues. And in some cases, that much exposure to the news can cause psychological harm. Let us not forget that the current economic times bring challenges. 
and many Americans are facing those challenges at home. As the wealth gap has widened and economic opportunities become more and more scarce, it breeds frustration and the sense of inequality goes up. Whether it's real or not, people feel that it is, mostly because the media, again, are telling them that it's getting worse. And when people struggle to make ends meet because of rising prices, when you look at rising prices, personal consumption expenditure inflation has been driven by rising prices for food, energy, goods, and services all around. So if you look here, we are seeing very significant price increases. This is going to make things challenging for the average family. When things get harder, it's harder to come together and focus on building strong communities. Instead, you're worried about yourself, which is understandable. And lastly, there's a decline in traditional institutions, such as churches, civic organizations, local clubs, those things that used to be the glue that held communities together. It used to be that in town, everybody would congregate at church on Sunday. You would know the other people in your community. You would be up to date on what's happening with their family. You would care about them because they were your neighbors. The word church congregation is that for a reason. You got together and it was your community. As you can see here, church membership among US adults is now below 50% and has been declining for years, really since about 2000. There was a little bit of a spike, but then it's been on a pretty continual decline ever since. So the reason that it feels like our sense of community is being destroyed is that it is. There are many factors, many more that we discussed here today in this brief video a combination of things that are contributing to that divide but here's the thing but we can't just sit around and let it continue next week we're going to discuss what we can do about that decline in community and what factors will help build back the great american communities we have all read about and that a lot of us want to return to so if you liked this video this week and you want to see more like it Go ahead and subscribe, click the little bell icon so you know, get notified next week when I release my next video as well. Hit the like button, share the video, and leave a comment down below if you wish. If you have an idea for a topic, please leave a comment. Thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Take care and God bless. Bye for now.